Yo, what up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode. Today, I want to talk about the company Anbernic. This, if you don't know, they made all of these. They made a lot more. They're constantly pumping out these handhelds from China under this company Anbernic. I actually really like the company, but only parts of it because lately they've been on this trend of releasing a new handheld about once a month. Everything you can see here has all pretty much been re-released since it came out, more or less. There's other versions for most of them. And I think where Ambernick really shines is where they make something really creative, like the Nano or the Arc model. But just recently, they did announce that they're going to be releasing a new Arc, and that's under their newest RG XX lineage they have all of these consoles that are different shapes that have the same power and it kind of started with the console that looked just like this that they put out now, this is the 351p i got this somewhere around four years ago and the problem about that surrounds these devices coming out once a month and collecting them well there's a couple problems one of them is you're never going to play them all. And so once you get a few ahead, your old ones are going to start collecting dust. And they become e-waste. E-waste is electronic waste, things that really have no purpose. They're just building up as sort of garbage, but not garbage because they're useful, but there's just too much of it in this case. And you know, as you can see here, I do have seven handhelds. Do I need all these? No, no, I don't need all of these. The ones that I like the most, like I said, are the unique ones. This here is a GBA clone. This actually does cartridges. They recently re-released this in a new color, but essentially it's been the same for years. This is one of my favorite items that they make actually because it's so unique. Another one would be the Arc. So they are re-releasing that and then just like that re-release i did really like this and you might think this is a brand new handheld but this is the rg405v technically it is brand new it's like less than a year old maybe a year old they've already released a new version of this it's got lights around the joysticks now the analog sticks and you know not much more to say about it. it's got this this new processor stuff like that um, and you could say the RG 35 XXSP might be one of their greatest accomplishments yet. And yet I also see it as one of their greatest failures because I happened to buy this before they just re-released it with newer colors and secretively, not secretively, but silently, so to speak, replace the buttons because the original model had very clicky buttons. I had to go in and remove the casing here and do a tape mod on this to make the buttons tolerable. And that involves going in and putting little squares of tape over all the button membranes to remove and reduce the clickiness. Problem with that is they get a little tough the more tape you put on, tougher to press, and then it never really quite satisfies me as a game player uh, this has the worst buttons on any handheld this is the the most disappointing purchase i think probably at least from ambernick that i've ever made in the retro handheld selection here i mean i really like all of these i've had some time with all of these i really enjoy them right now i'm enjoying most the ambernick rg cube which they also just announced a re-release for. It's got a slightly different screen, but pretty much the same innards. So many of these have the same power. They essentially do the same things. I mean, this one all the way back here did Nintendo DS, and we're still seeing that as a, a really nice feature on some of these newer handhelds. They've been going on for a long time. And I kind of wanted to know your opinion. Do you think this company should continue making a new handheld every month. Do you see that as being like a, a good thing for the future of our gaming collecting here? I don't think it's 
good. Now, they did announce something recently. I'll probably throw a picture on the screen here of the prototype. I don't remember the name. It's like the RG301P or so. I don't think that's it, but it's got a slide up screen, sort of. It's got this uh, vertical form factor, but then there's a second screen. This will slide up. There'll be another screen under there. It'd be perfect for DS emulation. I'm actually enjoying the RG Cube for DS emulation right now. And at this point, I think I'm ready to settle on the Cube. This is my new favorite handheld, and it's hard for me to dislike Ambernick when they have made both my most favorite handheld to date and my least favorite handheld to date. Like I said, this is their greatest triumph, as in it seems to be their best seller so much that they released it in even more colors. But the fact that they released it in a state where you had to do a tape mod, I just don't think that should be necessary it was a, a huge disappointment and and if they hadn't also made things like this i would be bad mouthing ambernick right now i love ambernick actually i like their devices i bought the retroid pocket 4 pro at the beginning of the year and i actually like this a lot better i decided to get it because this is so much more comfortable to hold and i like this screen ratio better it works really good for old retro games especially like game boy and stuff like that but also, it, it works really well for Nintendo DS and 3DS. I really enjoy this thing. It's got good battery life. Don't really understand these lights and why people like to, to put these lights in the analog sticks these days. I never turn them on. I've tried turning them on. I'm like, hey, that looks neat. Kind of just wasting my battery. Don't think it's necessary. But, you know, this is where it's at, in my opinion. And they didn't need to re-release it. They are re-releasing it with a different screen, so it's more like this screen, I think. At least, maybe not the same pixels and stuff, but it's the same ratio, I think. It's like a wider screen version, in case you wanted that, with this. But, you know, in the end, I think they should start focusing more on that new prototype that I mentioned. Items like that, things that are really unique and help them stand out. And I would say the cube would be one of those things, except for they sort of definitely ripped it off from uh, a different game console. It's called like the Unicorn. I'll throw that up on the screen too. They stole the idea, but they did it better, and it works really good. I like this. I love this console. I'm not going to complain. I'll leave links for these in the description, uh, especially the cube. You can get them on Amazon and stuff like that. I'd really like to know what you think about all of this. How do you feel about stacking game consoles on top of each other like i'm doing here do you have a pile of handhelds do you need them i don't think we do and it, it becomes an addiction because they're fun to collect and heck you could buy one of these especially something like the arc or, or, or rather you know this guy a lot of these the sp clone they got there whatever you want to call it they are pretty much the same price as a new game one new game for like your ps5 or whatever so it's like do you want one new game or do you want like a handheld loaded with 20,000 games or loaded load up with yourself? You have fun tinkering. It's good to set up, fun to set up. I don't know. You know, there's a lot going on here. It's a different age. And I also want to alert you that this probably won't be happening for much longer. I don't think you should grab all your emulation while you can before they shut you down. You know, we might not be able to have this stuff for long, so enjoy it. Get your favorite one, set it up, hold on to that stuff. Make sure you check the batteries if you can, so they don't get bloated, explode, all that good stuff. Anyways, I really appreciate y'all watching this. Let me know in the comments what you think. Which one of these is your favorite? Do you have any of these? Do you like these kind of consoles? These handhelds? I am really kind of addicted to them, not gonna lie, but I also see kind of a shaky future here with all this once a month stuff hit the like button if you like this subscribe if you're not already really appreciate it helps me out and encourage me to make more videos i might make some individual videos on some of these that i haven't already like the cube and this sp model but i don't i don't know if y'all really want to see it so many people talk about them so let me know i'll catch you on the next episode peace out forever and in the tall woods we'd stay out of the weather like it was all good every day we made it for pleasure we were saying whatever came to our minds plain and simple like a tetherball